Welcome back to Tech by Pike. Today we're unboxing the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo 15.6 gaming laptop. Uh, this laptop comes with two screens, the main screen and then a uh, mini screen that is below the main screen and above the keyboard. Uh, the main screen is an OLED screen. I'm not sure about the secondary. So we're really, that's why we brought it in here. We wanted to check that out. It also comes with the 12th Gen i9 processor. And then it comes with an RTX 3070 Ti, one terabyte SSD, 32 gigabytes of RAM. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this. We're gonna check out the chassis, the keyboard, the trackpad. Um, we'll check out the two screens, the IO, we'll weigh it. We'll check out the internals. And then at the end, I'll have some initial thoughts. Let's get into it. So we're really excited to unbox this thing and check out this laptop. See what we got here. Oh, this is pretty nice. So they included a carrying case. Almost looks like a backpack. We'll unwrap that here in a minute. And then we have, I'm guessing that is the power brick and cables. And then we got the main event, which is the laptop. Oh, wait a minute. And then we have an extra box, just a filler. So we'll put that down here. Let's open up the bag first. Oh, wow, it is a backpack. Has the Asus logo on it. That is really nice. Has a nice compartment for the laptop. And then uh, maybe the power brick and cables go in there. So that's a nice little added surprise. I like that a lot. Put that down here. Let's grab the knife here. We're going to open up the power brick here and see what we got. up on that side okay wow really like the presentation of this so we got our power brick here it's 240 watts and then we have a little spot down here for oh look at that they included the Asus pen 2.0 so it's a touch screen at least one of them is we'll have to check that out that is really neat and then Right next to that is the power cables. Put that off to the side. We'll unwrap the cables here real quick. So pretty long cable, I like that. We'll unwrap the power brick, 240 240 watts, like I said. And never, it's never simple. Okay. Let's go ahead and unwrap the pen here and box it. Let's see what we got in here. Looks like we got ourselves a charging cable. And then the pen itself. Some instructions. Oh, and some extra pen tips as well. That's nice to have. Oh, 
I want to feel how comfortable this is. Now I have the iPad Pro uh, that comes with the Apple Pen and uh, let me just grab that real quick. Which one do I like better? Uh, I still favor the Apple Pen just a little bit more. There's some flat edges here that I can rest my thumb against and this does not. So the Apple Pencil is a little bit more comfortable uh, in my opinion. But um, as far as functionality, uh, we will check that out. So let's go ahead and unbox the laptop itself. Oh, look at this. Okay, so what came Underneath the laptop, it looks like it's an ergo lift stand is what they're calling it to kind of keep the laptop up a little bit. And it looks like you can secure it to the bottom of the laptop somehow. Wow, lots of bonus um, bonuses that you get with this uh, laptop. So I'm pretty excited. All right. Try not to uh, score the box if I can possibly help it. I really like the packaging of this laptop. It's just really tight, uh, very, very clean. Asus ZenBook Pro. Let's see if we can open this guy up here. Okay, so if you can see that, it lifts the laptop up while moving the lid of the box open. And then it pops the laptop up for you to easily get to it. So that's nice. And then it looks like we've got something else down below here. Another compartment. And it looks like we have ourselves a wrist rest to go in front of the keyboard. Or maybe the keyboard Maybe it attaches to the laptop somehow. Okay. Lots of good stuff. And then we got our propaganda here. So we'll go ahead and open that up. We got our user guide. Um, looks like some safety instructions. And then we have our warranty card. All very useful. I'm sure. So we'll go ahead and close that gently. Okay. Let's go ahead and open up the laptop. Finally. This was a big box, lots of packing material. Wow, that is really slick. See that right there? Nice and clean looking. It's pretty, pretty hefty. Let's go ahead and open it, see if we can do it with one hand, one finger, without it sliding everywhere. So I don't see a lip underneath to really catch anything, so you're gonna to have to have fingernails. But, and then we got our screen protector here. Go ahead and lift that. And there you have it. Wow, that is really awesome looking. So let's go ahead and we're going to unwrap this real quick and see how this connects up. And does it just fit in there? It certainly does. It's not magnetic like I thought maybe it might be. But it does fit really well. And then... Um, Maybe we'll go ahead here and put the ergo stand on it and see how that um, 
lifts this laptop up just a little bit more. Uh, but we'll do that here in a few minutes. Um, let's go ahead and go over the chassis, the keyboard, and the uh, screens, and the typing and all that. And uh, then we will weigh this thing. Okay, I wanted to check out this stand first that we got. Um, so, these things right here peel off and I think they're kind of this sticky residue. And, and i got to be honest with you, I'm not necessarily sure I want to do that. But I'll show you what it looks like here. So it sticks right here in the middle. And you stand it up. Let's see if I can do this without actually having to stick it to the laptop. I don't know. It feels like... There we go. And then it stands up a little bit. Now, if I push on it, there is a little bit of bend there. I, I don't know why you would push on it, but... I don't know, it seems, it seems solid enough. Let's go ahead and see if we can open up the lid here. Pretty stiff. So it is definitely off the um, desk here uh, for better airflow. And it doesn't cover up the air intake underneath. And then if we go ahead and grab our palm rest here. It sits right there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and shut that a little bit. Let's see if we can move it. Yeah, it doesn't wanna stick. And it's already kind of bending a little bit. Boy, that is kind of flimsy, isn't it? I don't know. I'm going to do it without the stand. Let's check out the screen wobble here. It's pretty stiff. Not very much on the screen wobble there. Sorry about that. No flex on the screen. That is rock solid. And here's the secondary screen here. No flex there feels pretty solid and then I'm gonna go ahead and tip this up just a little bit so you can see the gap once this uh, screen is open it lifts this up with these two hinges one on both sides so okay okay I wanted to check out this stand first that we got um, so these things right here peel off and I think they're kind of this sticky residue. And, and I gotta be honest with you, I'm not necessarily sure I wanna do that. But I'll show you what it looks like here. So it sticks right here in the middle and you stand it up. Let's see if I can do this without actually having to stick it to the laptop. I don't know, it feels like, there we go. And then it stands up a little bit. Now, if I push on it, there is a little bit of bend there. I, I don't know why you would push on it, but I don't know, it seems, it seems solid enough. Let's go ahead and see if we can open up the lid here. Pretty stiff. So it is definitely off the um, desk here uh, for better airflow, and it doesn't cover up the air intake underneath. And then if we go ahead and grab our palm rest here, it sits right there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and shut that a little bit. Let's see if we can move it. Yeah, it doesn't wanna stick. It's already kind of bending a little bit. Boy, that is kind of flimsy, isn't it? I don't know. I'm going to do it without the stand. Let's check out the screen wobble here. It's pretty stiff. Not very much on the screen wobble there. Sorry about that. No flex on the screen, that is rock solid. And here's the secondary screen here. No flex there, 
feels pretty solid. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tip this up just a little bit so you can see the gap. Once this uh, screen is open, it lifts this up with these two hinges, one on both sides. So, okay. Let's go ahead and check out the flex of the top of the lid. Very little flex there. Let's see if it does any. Is there a fingerprint magnet at all? It's not. I don't see any fingerprints there at all. Let's check out the keyboard here. Feels pretty decent. Pretty good travel, not bad. The one thing I really dislike is the trackpad over here. I mean, it's nice and smooth, glass, and it clicks almost to the top here. Looks like you could probably disengage it. Um, so there might be some added features there with the trackpad. No real flex on the keyboard at all. If you were to remove the uh, palm rest, I could see where that would get pretty tiresome. Not having something there to rest your palms on. Yeah, feels much better. Okay, let's check out the I.O. on this laptop. All right, let's check out the ports on this laptop. We'll start with the left-hand side. We've got a power port, we got HDMI, we have some venting here, headphone jack port. On the right-hand side, we have two USB-C. These are Thunderbolt 4 ports, both of them, and then we have one USB-A port. Some venting, and then on the back, Looks like we have some venting here at the bottom. Down at the bottom here we have some air intake and some speaker grills on both sides. We have some long rubber feet to help keep this laptop off the desk for better cooling. Plus that lift here, this, I'm not sure what to call it, a stand or something um, that you can use as well. Um, I find it pretty flimsy, but I don't know. Uh, maybe you'll like it. After that, uh, that's it for the I.O. I'd like to weigh this thing, so let's do that real quick. Okay, let's weigh the laptop alone here. Uh, that comes out to 5 pounds, 4.4 ounces, and if we include the power brick and cables, it comes to 6 pounds, 12.9 ounces. So, pretty decent weight. I'm going to remove this real quick. And I don't know if you remember, but we also got this nice bag right here. Um, and I just want to see if it fits perfectly in this bag. Yeah, that's good. I like that a lot. And if you take the cables and the brick, That's pretty nice. Let's throw our scale down again real quick and see if we can weigh this whole thing. And you can't see it, but it comes out to seven pounds, 5.4 ounces. And it goes down once you start to move it off, but there you go. So I wasn't able to get the screws out here. They're a T5 screw, they're soft screws, and I started to strip one of them that's actually underneath this cover. And there's three covers here covering three T5 screws, and they're really difficult to get out. Um, so anyway, we're, we're gonna take a look at the internals, but I'm gonna find it out on their website. Uh, one thing that I did find out, though, is uh, the pen here opens up when you pull on the back and that's where you plug in your USB-C charger. 
And so anyway, to charge the pen up. So uh, it took me a few minutes to figure that out. So there you go. So we weren't able to open up the laptop to take a look at the internals, but there are there is some information out on the website that we can uh, talk about. So I'm just going to scroll down here, um, and you can take a look at the specs uh, in more detail. And uh, if you come down here to the uh, memory, 32 gigabyte LPDDR5 is what we have. It's on board. It's soldered to the motherboard. Uh, it looks like, and there. That's as much as you can get as far as memory. There might be another version of this uh, where you can get 16 gigs, but ours has 32. Uh, one terabyte M.2 NVMe PCIe, and I'm not sure if there's an extra slot for storage or um, it looks like you can actually upgrade uh, the storage that the original terabyte SSD comes in, but I'm not sure if there's another storage slot. So I'll find that out and uh, talk about it in the next video when we do our benchmarking. Run past the I.O. here. It has a uh, HD camera and it, for Windows Hello, and I have tested it and it works pretty well. Uh, Wi-Fi 6 and a 92 watt hour battery, and we'll check that out uh, in our benchmarking. And that's pretty much it from what I know of off the website so far. So, uh, like I said before, I'll find out if there's an extra slot for more storage um, and I'll report out that in the next video. Okay, some initial thoughts. So that is the unboxing of the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo 15-inch laptop. And this laptop is really geared towards content creators. A couple things that I didn't like about it uh, was a small trackpad right here. Um, as I slide it over, you can see it. Um, it does double as a numpad if you switch it over while it's turned on. And that's probably what I would use it for and use an external mouse. Another thing I didn't like was that laptop stand they included uh, with the package. And uh, it was a real waste of time in my opinion. It was soft, it was flexible. I can't imagine it withholding this laptop's weight over time. And so I, I'm not even sure why they included it at all. It was just a waste of time. Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and do some benchmarking. We're going to play some games. We're going to do a little content creation and really put this laptop through the paces. And we'll bring that video to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this from Tech by Pike, hit the subscribe button. We appreciate it. It helps the channel. Not only that, it gives us an opportunity to bring more videos like this to you. Until next time. We'll see ya.